Hello everybody, my name is Terry Broads and I'm an Orlex Independent Consultant and I would like to demonstrate to you how you really don't need to use these nasty chemical wipes. So it's chemical wipes versus the counter cloth. Now it could be any cloth, I just chose the counter cloth because I, I would use a lot of these kitchen towels in the past, kitchen yeah, paper towels in the past, and they're selectized, so it's the, they're the same size, pretty much, pretty close, as um, the counter cloths. So th I think that's why they actually made this size, because a lot of people do use selectized. Um, so, let me show you. So first of all, I don't know about you, but I have never read the back of a disinfectant wipe container. You know, first of all, it's so tiny, you know, I'd have to bring, even with my reading glasses on, I'm like, what? Um, maybe a lot of people do have read the back, but I just assumed that they're a chemical wipe and you, you know, they kill bacteria and because it says it on the front, um, kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. And when you wipe it, you're, you know, kind of good to go let it dry and you're, everything's fine. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> My knee bumped the table. So anyway, on the back, first of all, it says it's hazardous to humans and domestic animals. That's crazy. Um, so I really even don't want to touch them. Uh, do you know it takes 26 seconds for chemicals to get through your body? 26 seconds because your skin is the largest organ and it just can travel through and that's nasty. So that was an eye opener for me. Um, directions. So it's, it is a violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with its labeling. I don't know how else you would use it, but anyway. So it says to clean, remove allergens, use fresh wipe on surface, repeat for stubborn stains, to sanitize, disinfect, pre-clean surface, Use enough fresh wipes to thoroughly wet the surface. So you have to, you know, keep it wet. Surface must remain wet for the entire contact time. So to disinfect, allow to remain wet for four minutes. Four minutes, that's a long time. So I didn't know that. I mean, it could have happened. I probably, you know, wipe the counter cloth or the counter top off and left it for four minutes, but I wasn't aware of it. But you know, if I didn't, then I wasn't using them correctly, right? It says, allow surface to air dry. Toss dirty wipe away. For surfaces that come in contact with food, use only on hard non-porous surfaces and rinse thoroughly with water. So after you use the wipe, then you have to keep it wet for four minutes, then you have to, if you're gonna make a sandwich or something on your countertop, you have to come back and wipe it off with just water to take away all the chemicals that are in the wipes. So why would you even bother doing this? Anyway, um, to prevent the gro growth of mold and mildew and their odors, pre-clean hard, porous surfaces, wipe surface and allow to remain wet for three minutes, allow surface to dry, repeat applications in weekly intervals or when mold and mildew growth appears. That seems to be a lot of work. Anyway, so that's a scoop with these. So what we're gonna do here, so I have this stuff and it's called Glow Germ and it is a powder based, it simulated germs. So it simulates germs. So I'm gonna put a little bit on each plate. Well, and then I am going to put on a glove because I don't even like to touch these things anymore. Ever since I became a Norwex consultant, I don't use them anymore. And that's nearly a year and they stink. That's nasty. So, whoa. <laughs> okay, somebody's telling me something. Okay. So I'm going to take the wipe. One of the wipes, and I am going to what simulate simulated germs. I'm going to wipe it off, like I would my surface. You know, counter. I would take the the wipe, and I'd wipe the surface. 
thinking, okay, this should be all clean, right? Okay, now put that over here. I can take this off. Now I am going to take, which I have pre wet, I rinsed it under the sink and got it pretty wet, and then I, you know, just with uh, cold water. Rung it up really well. This is a countercloth, like I mentioned. I'm just gonna fold it. And I am going to do the same, this simulated germs, with this side. I'm gonna take my cloth, I'm gonna give it a wipe, I'm gonna turn it over, and I'm gonna, that's that. Okay, now, I'm gonna take my little black light and we'll see what the deal is here. So this was the plate that was wiped with a disinfectant wipe. Yuck. Now look at that plate. Hopefully you can see it. That, it basically just smeared all those germs, the simulated germs all around the plate. It didn't remove anything. And I even flipped the, the um, wipe over so it's still there how nasty is that right now with just water look at this free and clear there's not one hint of a germ left on this plate and that is just water so that is proof that our trusty little norwex microfiber cloths doesn't have to be this one. We have kitchen cloths, counter cloths. We have a viral cloth that is our number one um, flagship product. All these cloths remove 99.9% .9 bacteria from a surface with proper care and use. So the proper care and use would be you cannot wash them with any kind of um, chemical laden detergents. No fabric softener, no bleach, no um, dryer sheets are allowed. So you would get something free and clear. We do have a UPP Ultra Power Plus detergent, which is just perfect for the job. We also have an enzyme based liquid detergent if you prefer that. But if you want to have your own, use your own. Just make sure it's not full of fillers and chemicals and because it will clog the fibers in the cloth and then it won't do its job. So that's the scoop. And what you would do at now that I'm done, after I finish, I would go on at the sink. I usually would use warm to hot water, as warm as I can, hot as I can stand it. Um, because all the bacteria now, all the germs are inside this cloth. So I would, I don't want to rub it because there are germs inside it. I'll take this one. So I would rinse it under, you know, run it under the tap, rub it hard together. I just take it and I rub it and I'll flip it over and I'll rub it on this side and wring it out and rub it again and wring it out. Then I would hang, no, these actually I place over here to dry. But you can also hang them to dry. The other cloths, I mean, that's why these cloths have tags, so you hang them to dry. So as they dry, the microsilver goes to work to self-purify these cloths so they can be used again and again before they actually have to be thrown in the washing machine. So that's the scoop of these cloths. Awesome. So there you have it. They actually remove the bacteria. This was nasty. Why would you want to use this when you can use a cloth and water? That will self-purify. So that's the scoop. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.